this episode. We're going to get all this hide out of here. And then we're going to go down to where the beavers were. And uh, that's also a giga spawn down there. And uh, just kind of fly around down there a bit and see if there's see if there's one of those new new dinos down there. You know? Is uh I'm kind of interested in those dinos. They're actually really cool. Let's see if we can uh maybe maybe, maybe we can see if we can uh, tame one or whatever. Might do some uh, some experimentation in, in uh, single player to do it. Like I said, with the sheep and see if the sheep uh, work good for the taming affinity. What I'll do is I'll uh, reset all my settings that I have on single player and put it uh, to like server settings, I guess. I guess that's like times two or something like that. With the the breeding or with the with the taming and the um, experience and spawn some wild ones in of the new things and spawn some veggie cake in and get some sheep or spawn in sheep and then tame them or whatever and then um, try to tame the, the wild ones that are there with the sheep you know so we can do the whole thing with the sheep if you had like how many sheep it might take right I'm thinking like the first part of the taming sequence when we uh, get the sheep the first part it probably only take like three or four sheep most likely maybe less but uh, the other part for the taming part is just that's the experiment part you know does it like work very well like just like the the field hawk right everybody wanted to know how to do it all but uh they figured it was, it was the sheep the sheep right people were saying brontos but uh we got 10 10 grand with the with the hide in there right now that's lots of hide and we got lots of oil too so we can make lots of fuel so, anyways let's uh, do the solo here real quick I remember how to do it. Oh. Yeah, it's fire. Shh. Yeah. Like an arc pro view. Let's get ourselves a, a wide ring just for playing around. Wait, no, 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 actually, yeah, no, no, you're right. There's nothing in the, in the um, transmitter anymore. So here's a wire right here. And the new, that'll work. It's a 291, nice. Blood wire not too crazy. You probably need to be leveled up as well, man. Well, let's get out there, take a look around. I don't know if there's one down there or not, but we'll go see, because it is a giga spawn. And over in that direction is also a giga spawn. Oh, this guy's a little bloody. A little bloody. Yeah. Blood wire. He's got some uh, level up to be done as well. Yeah, so you find gigas over there in the bushes over there. And sometimes over there, past the lava. But down where the beavers were, you see them most often. Well, I do anyways. We're down there. I only got two. Put that into melee. Killing. Yeah. Let's see if there's some stuff down there. I'll take a look real quick. It'd be cool to see one though, because they're like they're just animals, those things. And some chipoas down here. Here maybe? No. Cause like that di that new dino is like a whole another breed of dino, you know. Like it uh, makes all the other dinos in the game look like crap in comparison. You know? <laughs> I haven't seen one in like actually on the feed yet, but I've seen like videos of them and stuff. They look freaking amazing. All right, so we want to go this way. Let's take a quick look over here too. Wait. Down through here, you see gigas sometimes. And uh, the reason why we're looking for giga spawns is because they share the same spawn. 
the new feature and the Giga. So look up here too. There's a Bronto over there. Can't see. There's a Bronto there. I've seen Gigas right through here before. Oh, somebody's got a place over here. Cool. Around. I've seen anything really too crazy over here. Over in the desert, actually. No, that, that's a good spot to look. Over in the desert. Let's go fly over to the desert. Well, yeah. No, we're good. We got lots of stamps still. This guy's got lots of stamps, apparently. So, a spot in the desert, there's always a Giga over here. So, we might actually see one in the wild, folks. Apparently, they're aggressive as hell. And they will not only rip your face off, but your tame's face off as well. <laughs> Very aggressive. But you, but you have to hand feed them to be able to tame them. That's the thing. Okay. Should have brought the rocket bird. It would have been way quicker. Because you got to remember, we got to fly back too. Well, I got to fly back anyway. Down here, we got some stuff fighting stuff. Oh yeah, this weapon has got huge um, stamina. Jesus. We're going over there. Hey right, folks, here we are. Uh, usually around in this area, you will see gigas. Of course, right now, I do not see a Giga. There's a Kino. There's a Wyvern. Those are wild Wyverns, and they're, they're really aggressive. We don't want to mess with those guys. Dire Wolves. We don't want to mess with those Crystal Wyverns over there. Probably would be able to take it out. I don't know, what's the melee on this sucker? It doesn't say on this menu at the second. Okay. We just fly around here enough. We'll just pop in. Giga. There's some mantises. Some other bugs. Megatherium would do well out here. Yeah, shit out of chitin. What's the media on this thing? It's 468. I don't seem to see any out here right now. But I think that's what we're going to do, folks. And once we get all this stuff situated, which we're pretty close to doing that, we're going to uh, see if we can tame us one of these new creatures. It's going to be done. I mean, they don't care if it's like a perfect tame, but just to have one. And they're pretty cool. Then we can do more like land riding. Like riding on the land. Apparently they're, they're uh, like the best for meat, I think. Best for me, and second best for uh, prime meat. With the Giga being best for prime meat. Apparently, so the Dodo deck says, as the legend goes. Well, let's head back to base, I guess. Doesn't seem to be anything out here at the second. We'll come back and we'll get him. Looks like there's a trap out here already. That we can use, maybe. What do we can do with the other trap? Like it's possible to do with the other trap, right? That's the beauty of this creature. You can do it with the other trap, and you don't need like any special taming stuff. You just uh, just tame it. You know, have the feel I like that. Back over here at the base location, there's some. There's a sheep right there. We get the cakes together, right? We gotta attain them. There's a. Right there. All these Pego Mastics. I'm gonna try and steal all your stuff.
Ooh, Chipotle. What's up, baby? Have a win? Come here, Chipotle over there. The sheep right here. They spawn in the same spot the Giga spawns. So level 20, though. You tame that thing with one kick, even even on times one. You don't need that right now. You can barbecue it. You know, there's a button going. Oh, no big deal. Let them live. Let them live. So let's go over here and I'll show you where the water pen used to be and where we're going to be rebuilding it. And here's the base. And we'll have a render in here in a second. Any day now? Getting my crash. Oh, there we go. It's written itself. Right here is the base. Over the base. A long time, folks. Down here was where um, the water pen was. Right along this bank here was a wall. On that bank to the left there. And then there's a bit of a melt here. I put behemoth gates here, tech ones. Over there. And then uh, over this way, there's a bank that follows the, it's like kidney shape kind of thing over here. And it's like shallow, then it's really deep. And then follow these trees around and have this whole middle area as the water pen. And it's fairly deep down there actually. And there's a bit of a shelf there and stuff at the shoreline, all good for parking. Um, sometimes you find gigas down here as well, actually. You look around, I've seen them down here. Running around like maniacs. What the hell is? I don't see them today. We'll come back down here. We'll keep coming back down. We're going to go to single player in the next video, folks. And we're going to do some experimentation on how to tame that new creature. And then, if all goes well, we're going to do it on the live server. Uh, we're, we're gonna end up doing it on the last server, anyways. It'll be actually pretty cool. Let's see if we can get that thing. It's a, it's a huge predator, that thing. Yeah. Um, and then over here, up on this ledge up here, is, this is where the other trap used to be for the rocket birds. Right off this ledge right here, there was a dino gate coming here. And the, um, the spawn for them, for the rocket birds, is right there. Literally, right there. Up in the air. It's really there. Sometimes when they spawn, they, they end up on the ground. You'll see them walking on the ground sometimes too. But not forever. And you just like hit them with a with a, like a, a primitive long neck rifle bullet to get their attention. And you stand in the in the cave or in the trap. It goes in the trap. You walk out the back of it. You step on the pressure plate. It closes the doors. And you get your uh, your slingshot out there. You net them or something? Okay. Uh, uh, you, yeah, you, you net them. The net gun, the giant net gun. Where is it? The, yeah, the chain bullet. The chain bullet. That's right. Yeah, well, let's go back to base over here. So as you can see, like there's a lot of stuff around this base that you can just utilize for a lot of things, which is great. It's great. To say. It'd be nice if one of those things would just spawn right now. But not at the moment. Let's get laid on this thing. Oh, almost. Almost. Yeah, we'll land down here. Well, we'll see you guys in the next video.